At the recent Unite conference, Unity presented its latest innovation, the Muse AI tools. I've spent the last few days getting to know Muse inside and out. Do those tools live up to the hype? Is Muse a real value in game creation? Let's find out! Sprite Generator is a package that runs inside the Unity editor. Basically, as described a second ago, it's an image generator that generates sprites based on your text prompts. For example, I want to generate a sword icon for my game, so I write a prompt, also optionally write a negative one, and press generate. After a few seconds, I will get the results, and yeah, they're not great. I will compare those results with other AI-generated tools, but before that, let's check the tools that Unity provides to fix that. First, here at the bottom, there is quite an interesting input image feature. Basically, we can draw a shape which we would like our generated image to follow. Unfortunately, based on my tests, it doesn't really work. Even if I would increase the tightness to maximum, the generated images are still not at all similar to the drawn shape. But maybe the last feature will help us, refining an image. Let's double click on the best generated option. Here I will select a brush and will draw over the blade. Let's say I'd like to have a golden version of it. Write a prompt, click generate, and here are the results. I'm sorry, but in my opinion they are not so great. To wrap up this sprite generator and move on to better AI tools, let's compare it with other generators. Here I have a simple UI that requires an avatar image of a player. I prepared such a prompt and tested it in ChatGPT DALI, Mid Journey, Adobe Firefly and Unity Muse Sprite Generator. As you can see, the results speak for themselves. While I could use pretty much all of the outputs of the other generators, the Unity ones are just unusable. I really hope Unity will be able to catch up while holding their word to use only custom built and responsibly trained models. But now, let's move on to the next tool, Unity Muse Chat. Unity presents it as a Unity brain that knows everything about the game engine and can help us with ideas, editor features and code writing or fixing. To interact with Muse, we need to follow a popular in the last month scheme, write a message, wait for a few seconds and get a full text response. It works great for helping with small tasks like quit guides and how-to, interpreting code, writing code snippets and fixing bugs. First initial impression, it's basically a chat GPT with a Unity skin and very aggressive Unity documentation linking. For example, this simple question produces five citations. On one hand, it's good, it gives a good starting point to learn Unity documentation, but on the other hand, the implementation is not so great and very often different numbers navigate to the exact same URL. Not to mention that Muse likes to advertise Unity services whenever possible. After a lot of tests, I wasn't able to find any case where Muse is better than ChatGPT. Actually, when I did some tests, more often than not, the OpenAI platform was more accurate with the results. Currently, I can't recommend it because of the price. More on that in just a second. But there is still a light in a tunnel. There is one more component of this Muse package and that is the texture generator. As the name suggests, this tool allows you to generate seamless textures for your 3D projects. At first, it might look like the same sprite generator shown at the beginning, but don't be fooled. In my opinion, that is a great example that an AI tool with a specific narrow use case can give much better results. Let's say we have a few primitive shapes that represent trees without any textures. As someone who doesn't know much about creating the 3D graphics and textures, that might be a very time-consuming process, but let's try Muse to speed it up. In the Muse texture generator, I will type tree leaves and click generate. I don't like those options, so I will add the carton keyword and increase the number of generations. All right. I like this one, let's edit it. Here I would like to add a small correction. I will draw on this part of the image and enter the same prompt to correct it. After generation, select the best one, oh, here it is. Finally, let's click on material preview, change its shape to cube, 
Experiment with its height, metallic and smoothness values, and once ready, simply drag it into the assets and then texture all the cubes with it. You can repeat that process for each model on the scene to quickly fill it with colors and nice graphics. For certain textures, you might want to give AI some guidance and select one of the patterns. That way, the final effect might be even better. In my opinion, that might be the best tool in this package, but as I mentioned, I'm not a graphic designer. Let me know what do you think about it. Before we'll move on to the controversial pricing, I'd like to thank all of my patrons and YouTube members for making Coco Code videos possible. If you'd like to join and receive additional perks, visit the link below. Finally, time to talk about the pricing. On Unity website, you can sign up for a 15 days trial for free. After that, a subscription will start costing you a whopping $30 per month. If you have a pro license for around $2,000 per year, also, no luck for you, you also need to purchase Muse separately. But that's not all, it looks like that this price won't be covering a full usage of the service. While using the texture generator, I noticed that here in the corner there is a counter of the used Muse points. Based on my tests, it looks like each one sprite generation costs 4 points, each texture generation costs 8 points, and each Muse chat message costs 25 points, no matter how long it is. In those $30 per month, you will get 3000 points. For that, you can do 93 texture generations with 4 variants, do 500 sprite generations with 6 variants, and send only 120 Muse messages per month. That is a huge limitation, and while during the early access period those points are not limited, once the service will fully start, the limitations will be enormous. MuseChat is limited to 120 messages per month for $30. For $20, you can get ChatGPT subscription, which unlocks GPT-4 with a limit of 40 messages per 3 hours, which equals to almost 10,000 messages per month. Of course, you won't be able to use all of them, but still, the value difference is huge. But remember, if you don't want to pay, you can still use ChatGPT for free without any limitations using the older GPT 3.5 model, which, by the way, is the exact same one that Unity is using. Before finishing, I need to let you know that in some point in 2024, a new set of components will come to the Muse package. On stage, Unity presented an animator tool that will generate character animations based on the text input and the character behavior generator also based on the message entered by the user. At this moment, I do not have access to them, so I won't be able to provide any more details, but I really hope it will make the Muse suit more interesting. 